Hi, I'm Victor Margiotta, and this is The Community Show. My guests tonight are Bill Sestrom, uh, Chester Edwards, and Silvio Ricciardi. Uh Thank you so much for coming on, guys. Yes, thanks for having us. All right. Thank you. And uh, today we're going to be honoring the vets. Uh, these guys have put together a program that uh, brings vets to the uh, memorials in Washington, D.C., and uh, it's a great service. Uh, Silvio's going to tell us a little bit about his experience, and uh, we're going to talk about some ways we can all get involved. The community show is about getting involved. Um, there's so many things going out on out there that, you know, kind of make people upset. And uh, instead of just complaining about it, there are ways to get involved, uh, to, to help out. Uh, there's, there's, here's a perfect opportunity uh, to, to maybe possibly get a fundraiser together to actually uh, donate to this great cause. And uh, so tonight we're going to be talking about ways we can get involved. So first, Bill, thanks for so much for coming on. Thanks can for you, having me. Can you tell us about this Hudson Valley Flights? Yes, the Hudson Valley Honor Flight is a, is a 501c nonprofit, 501c3 nonprofit. Okay. What we do is we take veterans, World War II and Korea primarily. We'll take Vietnam veterans if they're very sick. Okay. Down to Washington and back, same day, in order to see their memorials, ride around with a police escort around Washington, have a, a ceremony in the morning and a ceremony in the evening when they get back, and they'll come yeah. back the same day, and we'll give them a, a nice dinner while they're down there. How many guys usually go at a time? You, if we fly out of Westchester, we mm -hmm. go four times a year. Okay. If we fly out of Westchester one of the two times, we take 70 if, wow. in, in round numbers. Right. And, and we can take 80 or 90 in round numbers if we fly out of Stewart, which we also do twice a year. That's awesome. And um, what is the uh, credentials for, for them to have to, to they get? Have to be, they, they have to be a World War II veteran mm -hmm. is the first priority. They don't have to have served in combat. Okay. They just have to make an application, and then a committee will determine. Uh, we don't have any waiting list for World War II people at all. Wow. Uh, so if anybody is hearing this broadcast, mm -hmm. our primary objective here, and Chet will testify this, okay. is, is we want to get World War II veterans and Korean War veterans to sign up okay. because we're having a hard time filling a plane. Right. So the rest of the priority is that they... They have to fill out a form, what did you do in the service? Mm -hmm. And uh, someone else other than us makes a decision. But Excellent. Now, do they have to bring money for themselves? Or? No, they don't need to bring any money okay. because there won't be any time to spend it. Okay. Uh, there's plenty of time in Washington uh, for us to travel around. Mm -hmm. But we, we go to the memorial. We go to the uh, changing of the guard. We go to the Iwo Jima. Uh, well, when it's not under construction, yeah. right now it is. Yeah. Uh, and we go, sometimes we go to the Air Force Monument, mm -hmm. and, and then we take them to dinner. It, it consumes a whole day. Okay. Now, do you stay overnight when you're down there? We or? don't. We no. come back the same day. Same day. Okay. Uh, we go to dinner and then bring them back the same day. Now, can they bring their spouses? They cannot bring their spouses, uh, and uh, it's unfortunate because many would like to. But the reason is that the day is meant to honor the veteran. Yes. And the veteran, many of them would spend the whole day worrying about their spouse. Does she have water? Does she have food? And we have guardian for each veteran to, to make sure that, that the veteran has water and food and is comfortable. Okay. And we bring extra wheelchairs, by the yeah. way. And uh, uh, so the spouse would be a distraction yeah. for the vet. Can you uh, tell us your experience with it, Chet, please? Well, I, I joined uh, the Honor Flight volunteer team three or four years ago, and I just became a board member within the last year. Um, we got hooked on it. Uh, the veterans, uh, ourselves included, uh, have never really gotten the right honor when they came home. Yeah. They weren't treated as well as they should have been, uh, especially the Vietnam, but back to Korea and World War II also. Uh, so we were looking for a way to uh, honor veterans. We've always been, my wife and I have always been involved in veteran affairs and, and you know, veteran rights. And this just turned a light on for us. Uh, where can you get 70 to 90 World War II and Korean War veterans in one place to interact with each other mm -hmm. and then give them that honor that they deserve for what they did for us? Um, every group of servicemen 
is thankful for and uh, dependent upon what the prior group did, uh, World War II to World War I, right down the line. Um, we need to let them know what it meant to us to have their history and, and follow their trail. Uh, so we have been deeply involved at this point. I, was, I say this all the time. I've been to Dachau. I've been to Normandy. I've been to Pearl Harbor. And I've, I've been to the Holocaust Museum. And the most important thing is I vote. And I'm standing on the shoulders of these guys because mm -hmm. we owe these guys a great debt of gratitude. And all of us on the, on the board feel this sense of gratitude and debt indebtedness to uh, uh, our, the veterans who preceded us. Now, who actually started the program? A, a young man came to m one of my stores mm -hmm. and, and uh, asked me, cold called me, like a salesman, for, he asked me for, for 50 bucks. I said, 50 bucks? He said, yeah, we're going to fly, we're, we're, no, we're going to drive mm. World War II veterans on a bus. He says, I got 10 of them lined up. Oh, really? And I said, I'm in for 100, so I wrote the check. Wow. And I was hooked. Yeah, right well, I was, that was it. I was hooked. And until a certain supermarket chain, who I'm not allowed to mention, got on the scene, it was the honor bus. Mm -hmm. But when this supermarket chain, uh, be, I can't say it because you told me yeah. I couldn't say it. But Sorry. when this supermarket chain became involved, it became the honor flight. And, and then the first, I can't believe we got the first one off, but because it was so disorganized. Yeah. But it's much better organized now, and Silvio's going to tell us about that, too. Yeah, well, go ahead, Silvio. Tell us about your yes, experience. Yes, that's one of the most wonderful experiences that I ever had in my entire life. And I say this without any quotes or questions. Or, it was just the thrill of my life to meet such fine people, like the honor flight people. Yeah. They made us so comfortable from the time we got on the bus, mm -hmm. the red, white, and blue bus, to the time we departed Westchester County Airport to Washington, D.C. It was an experience that nobody can find. How do you explain it? You can't. No. They were so beautiful, your guardians. They were just there, the, the way they handled us, the way they guided us, and the way they took care of us, like you're holding a light baby in your arms. It was so beautiful to be a veteran amongst yes. these find people. Yeah. It was just a thrill of my life. Yeah. And I can't say anymore until I can find the right words I give you. That's how much I loved it. Yeah. Well, yes. I appreciate everything you've done for us. And, and I uh, salute all the veterans myself, wherever you are, gone or alive or wherever you are. I salute you. Well, I sit on my porch uh, at night after work and I think of how lucky we are to, to live in this great country and uh, and because of yeah. you know thank the, you the veterans and what they've done for for this country thank you so much so, so the flight was good oh <laughs> awesome you cannot you cannot explain how yeah. they the staff took care of us yeah. oh, it's just a thrill of in a lifetime yeah. something and I've been flying all my life around the world in corporate jets and and found this to be the most wonderful thing I ever experienced. Yeah. Now walking around all the monuments, what was one of your favorites? I, I fell in love with the Korean monument, the way it was exposed in such a manner. Mm. The reality of it gave a feeling that you were there. Yeah. You see the, the carrying the weapons, the Browning automatic rifles, the M3 machine gun, the 30 caliber, the M1, and gave me such a a feeling that, oh my God, I didn't want to leave. I sat right there on the marble step and I didn't want to go nowhere else. That's a feeling that I got. I got tears in my eyes. And uh, what can I say? I loved every moment of it. Now, how long did you serve for? I served uh, two years active and three years inactive with the Air Force. Mm -hmm. Give me a total of five years and I put two years after that. Okay. Give me a total of seven years of service. And uh, it was just an experience that I, I would take with me to my yeah. grave and, mm -hmm. and I hope I did good for someone. Yeah. You did, trust you me. Did. Yeah. You did. And I can't. And, uh, especially for us who followed you. Yeah. 
And Silvio, we just uh, shared a little story about you meeting my father and my uncle. Oh my God, a paradis par restaurant El Paradiso. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I named it. That's all right, we're allowed. Yeah, and <laughs> special young lady, I spoke of you, mm -hmm. and a very good friend. And uh, I met some fine people in, the, in that little area down at the end of the water there, the water edge, and, and the, the fine cooking mm -hmm. we ate there. Yeah. And I would never forget it. Yeah. Indy Point Park, they call it. Yeah, I, re I don't remember that. Indy Point just Park, that's what it's called. It came to me. Yeah. And they built the, the Con Edison plant. And uh, one day I would love to come up to the place and see yeah, it again. Yeah, you've got to come. I'll make yeah. you a nice pizza. Yeah, well, <laughs> I have now to get, you, you get the address. And okay. You're making me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just some fine people in, mm. in that uh, little... What they call that little area there? Well, they call it the Point. The Burp Point, Plank. yeah. Yep. And it had the Paradiso restaurant. <laughs> oh my God, it's unreal. Now you received a medal recently. Yes, uh, it was an Army of Occupation medal in Germany, which was given out during the World War II okay. up to 1955, which I was honored with. Mm -hmm. After 64 years, I finally received it. <laughs> they say the records got burnt out in oh St. Louis, so I have it. Chet saw you saw it. Yep. So you it. handled it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it was a trill. It was a. You know, not like my father's medal. He saves four men, wow. in a, swimming across the river in the War of Tripoli. Mm -hmm. He got a beautiful medal. I bet. But whatever I did, I did. And if I could have done more, I would have done more. I can't ask for much because I'm amongst these fine gentlemen here, the Colonel. And. The things they did for us and how we make us feel wanted. That's right. It's just the love of all the guardians, the staff, the way they handle all the handicapped people, and the way they, they distribute their love amongst yeah. us. That's perfect. And I can't say thank you enough yeah. to Hudson Valley Honor Flights. Bill, what are some of the uh, fundraisers that are going on now? We, we have a, uh, once a year we have a fundraiser called the Lunch of Honor. Mm -hmm. and, and this year's uh, has just passed. Okay. And we had Rocky Sickman, who is uh, one of the 52 Iranian hostages, who came and spoke to us at this Lunch of Honor as our guest cool. speaker. He was terrific. Everyone had tears in their eyes when Rocky spoke. Wow. And, and last year we had... Uh, I don't even remember who we, we had as a guest speaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Rocky was terrific for this year. Yeah, and um, uh, some of the other fundraisers we have, we have in Westchester County, we have a lunch of honor. Uh, and that that happened a couple of months ago. That was a is that the one in Rye Golf Club? Yes, that was the yeah. one. That's where my granddaughter sang. Really? God yep. bless the USA. Ah. Lee Greenwood song. How, how old is your granddaughter again? She's uh, she's just turned 15 years old. Yeah. She awesome. sang God Bless the USA and also the Star Spangled Banner, which everybody got up and sang with her. Yep. God bless you, Gabriel. <laughs> she, she's been doing that for a few years already. Yes. We have an online fundraiser that goes on. Okay, so we can um, go online. You can go online, HudsonValleyHonorFlight.com, and you can click on the Facebook page. It goes there. Uh, it, it's pretty easy. You can navigate it like you do the rest of the Internet. Yep. Excellent. And we appreciate every, every dollar. Yeah. Chet, uh, how long have you been serving? In, uh, in with Honor Flight? Yes. About, about three and a half years, maybe okay. four, uh, since I've been in there. I get involved in uh, setting up our, our, our hangar for our, good, our morning uh, honorarium <laughs> for these guys. Okay. Um, we uh, put together a big greeting at the end of the day, mm -hmm. and then we just cater to their needs uh, coming up to and after the flights. Yeah. Um, I, I, the example of the medal, to me is, is a good point. That's what these guys did not get, those honors when they should have had them. Uh, Honor of Light gives us a chance to make some of that up, to allow them to see uh, the appreciation, not only of other veterans, but also of the general population, the public. Because this is not a veterans honoring veterans. This mm -hmm. is everybody honoring huh. our veterans. Yes. Yes. Uh, so I don't want anybody to get the impression that it's just prior service personnel. Mm -hmm. Uh, our, our veterans come from every walk of life, okay. uh, or rather our, uh, our, our volunteers yeah. from every walk of life. Um, and they all seem to get hooked in the same way as soon as they get involved and see how the interaction works. 
Um, Silvio mentioned the uh, guardians. Uh, I don't think we kind of explained that, okay. <laughs> but every veteran has a guardian assigned to them. Right. And that guardian spends the day with them to make the day easier and better for them. Mm -hmm. uh, help provide, as we mentioned, water and food when needed, but also make sure they get on and off buses so we don't lose any of them, uh, and to make sure that they have a great day. Yeah. Um, there's uh, not, we don't have really medical staff, but we do have safety staff on mm -hmm. every flight, which takes care of all of their needs. We have a uh, number of nurses and such that uh, are on the flight to take care. So if a veteran wants to go, they don't need to worry about their physical. As long as the doctor says they can go, yes. we can accommodate them. We provide wheelchairs. Uh, we have buses which are wheelchair capable. Uh, and we make sure we cater to every, from the best condition to the worst condition so they have a good day. Excellent. We even have a contest to see which is the best bus. <laughs> That's right. But and Chet does a wonderful job departing us gives a beautiful speech, yeah. he energizes us, gives us that feeling we're somebody, where we weren't pushed aside, and we can't thank him enough, and the staff, again, the things that they did for us, Chet. Well, we only do for yeah, you, we you owe do you. for us. Yeah. Yeah. We owe thank, you. Thank you. Now, the, for the veterans that are out there, how can they, you know, Any get veteran involved? that would like to be on an honor flight, mm -hmm. Please contact us, and the contact information is on the screen behind us, I'm sure, or yep. it will be throughout the broadcast. And y you, you can call us at the number, Sean. You can go to the website, or you can go to Facebook, and there's, uh, there's dozens of ways. And, and so just apply, fill out an application, mail it in, and, and the committee will decide who's going. Right. Pretty much everybody goes. Yeah. Excellent. I have an, an interesting story about it. You were talking about it when you were at the Korean Memorial. The last trip, the one after yours, we had 55 Korean vets at that memorial. And they were met there by 10, may, maybe 12, because that's a full platoon, mm -hmm. of Korean, South Korean soldiers wow. who knew we were coming. And they waited for our Korean vets in order to shake every hand wow. and thank them for their freedom. That was a wonderful experience for the gun. I know you missed that one, but yes. that was a wonderful experience for the, for the uh, Korean veterans uh, from our last trip. Yeah. So I just want to share that. They say the same memorial at sunsetting. If you look at the memorial, it's like it's moving. It's just uh, an every, fe no. every feeling that yeah. you get it is you see it, it, especially if there's fog. Yeah, yeah. yes. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just overwhelming. And I had to sit there at the same token while I was sitting there. I had about 40, 50 kids around me. And, and I couldn't believe what you want. I said, you want to sing? So we sang songs together. Mm. And uh, it was such a beautiful thing. I you know, when I went, the, uh, they were fixing the pool. Was the, uh, was the pool fixed? Uh, I believe it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 No, 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 there's not any work going on yeah. now. That was something. And then, of course, mm -hmm. the Lincoln Memorial, that one I thought was pretty awesome. And the, and the Honor Guard was beautiful, too. Oh. At Arlington, the oh, changing yes. of the guard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was wonderful. That's a guard spectacle to see. And the way he, they expressed themselves to the veterans by clicking their heels. They clicked their yeah. heels. Clicked their heels, and they, they honor the veterans that, that are there. For those that there. don't know, yeah. if you go to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and you see the changing of the guard ceremony, if they, if they know that there are veterans, especially in honor flight, watching them, they'll click their heels. Yes. And that's a respect for the veteran, because yeah. they can't speak to us. It, it looks like they're actually making a mistake, because they kind of scuff their, but, their heels right. as they walk. And it yeah. looks like a mistake, but it's actually yeah, an honor that's a, to that's the veterans. Respect. Awesome. Now, we, I read something that there's uh, currently 550 World, uh, two, World War II veterans that die every day. I've heard, an approximation. I've heard the yeah. figures of 600, I've heard 900, and I've heard that 500. I've heard 1,000, yeah. Yeah, I, we don't, obviously, well, there's no way to tell for right. sure. As time goes on, that number goes up. But yeah. for, for this sure. reason, our World War II veterans get Especially, first priority on these flights. Now, when is the next one? Uh, 14 April. Okay. And how many do you have signed up so far? Uh, I don't think the plane is full, so okay. any veterans are seeing this broadcast, I, I, I know I sound like a broken record, yeah. but uh, <laughs> if you just go to our website or contact us any way that you can, okay. 
we'd be glad to sign you up. I don't think that flight is full. All right. And for all your listeners, uh, there will be another flight. This one's going to be out of Westchester. The one Bill's talking about is out of Stewart. Oh, yes. okay. But there will be one out of Westchester in May. We don't have the specific date yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so if anyone knows a Korean or a World War II veteran, that encourage them to go to the website and sign up. Right. Uh, there are a lot of guys who had never seen their memorials. Yeah. Uh, don't have the way to get down there and medically couldn't probably go as a tourist. But with the support of Honor Flight, uh, they can make those trips. All right. Now, people that want to volunteer, what are some ways that they can volunteer? Same website. Yep. There's another button. You can click on it. Yeah. It says uh, ways to contribute or ways to volunteer. Right. You just click on that, and you'll be presented with all kinds of opportunities. Okay. We have opportunities for drivers. We have opportunities for organizers. Mm -hmm. We have opportunities for, well, Chad and I do the presentation, so we, yeah. so we take the message. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have opportunities for uh, uh, membership in, in, in rotary clubs. And, uh, you know, we, we'd like to visit rotary clubs. Yeah. Uh, there are some accounting opportunities. And I don't know, what else do we need? We, oh, we there, need guardians. We need guardians. Okay. Uh, the guardians have to pay. Uh, I have to acknowledge that, right? Uh, right? There are people doing what we're doing now, just getting the word out and trying to recruit veterans uh -huh. to get more people on, recruit guardians. Um, there's fundraising events. Uh, if anybody wants us to come out and talk to them, I'm sure Bill and I would be more than happy to than happy. go pretty much anywhere from just south of Albany all the way down to the Bronx. Uh, it covers also into uh, northern Jersey. Rockland and uh, and uh, Southern Fairfield. Uh, okay. So we go to all those areas and all of those veterans uh, are, are more than encouraged to come. All right. Now, uh, I wanted you guys to talk about Harvey. Harvey Horn was one of our veterans. He was a uh, World War II, he was a, a bombardier mm -hmm. on, I believe, a B-17. He jumped out of the burning B-17 over France. Germans captured him and they put him in a POW camp. And the Americans rescued him a few days after the Germans discovered that Harvey was Jewish. And it wasn't going to go well for Harvey, mm. obviously. Yeah. So he's very thankful, particularly to American GIs and particularly to Army guys. Well, at our lunch of honor, when we did the table seating. Somebody, it wasn't me, but somebody came up with a brilliant idea. We sat Harvey with Rocky Sickman, the POW from, uh, from the Iranian hostage crisis. And I have some wonderful photos of Harvey and Rocky together. Oh, man. They're on our website. Okay. You can see them there. That's excellent. Now, did you get to meet them, Chad? No. Um, I wasn't at that luncheon. I had another event I was had to go to, unfortunately. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I understand it was a great event, 800-plus yes. people there. Um, again, all of the veterans go to those honor lunches for free. Mm -hmm. uh, all of our, what we call our, our, our veterans of the honor flight, yeah. alumni. Alumni, uh, yeah. alumni of the honor flights go to all these events free, and then everyone else is there to support and honor them. Now, what about uh, Trusky? We've had several Tuskegee Airmen. And we've also had Buffalo Soldiers. Right. Uh, the Tuskegee Airmen, of course, were all African-American, for those who don't know. And the Buffalo Soldiers were also all African-American. Uh, this was in the World War II days and Korean days when the Army was segregated before President Truman unsegregated right. the Army. And uh, I've heard s some stories, particularly from our Senator, Bill Larkin, who was, he was a uh, leader a company commander of a group of, of uh, uh, Buffalo soldiers. He said they were the best fighters he'd ever seen. So we've taken quite a few of them. Excellent. Yeah, we've had almost a mix of anything you can imagine as far as types of service, mm -hmm. locations. Women. Uh, we had one gentleman who said he actually helped carry the president onto the aircraft carrier to sign the <laughs> armistice uh, because at that point he wasn't walking anymore. Really? Uh, so he was actually, and, and these are the kinds of people that we, we, we meet and get mm -hmm. the honor of, of talking with right. uh, and kind of raise their level up to where it should be. Yeah. Well, we are the melting pot. I mean, this country is made up of a great number of different uh, countries that all have came to this country and, and has worked out beautifully. I mean, we all have our own identities, but we're all American. 
And um, I think that's so important that you know the, the, you honor also people. But um, I just wanted to catch a little bit of a story about your service. My personal service yeah. in the military? Yes. Uh, I was a Vietnam vet, mm -hmm. combat 68-69 in, uh, down in the south in the Mobile River Marine Force on the river boats. Right. Um, I spent a total of four years of active, two years in active reserve, so a total of six years of service. Well, I just wanted to thank you, too, and uh, thank you for your service. And Bill's a vet as well. Uh, yep. Vietnam, 64, 5, 6, yep. in and out, um, and uh, it was a horrible experience. Yep. That's all I really, Yeah. I don't have much to say about right. my, I didn't do much. I, I, but uh, we, uh, I, I personally want to thank you for your service. Well, too. thank you very much. And, so you uh, mentioned diversity before. Mm -hmm. uh, we only see one color, and that's in the military uniform. That's right. Yes. Green, blue, or brown. We don't yes. see race, creed, yeah, that, religion. That, no. that doesn't exist. Right. And even and the women that serve, too. You, you depend on the person next to you. That's right. Whoever that may be. Yeah. All right. We have uh, just a couple more minutes. Silvio, you want to... Uh, Give well, us a few words of wisdom over there. <laughs> he looks like my uncle, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do again. I say I can't thank the honor flight people enough to say God bless you yep. for the job you're doing. It's amazing. It's, it's a just, great service. It's a great service that you give us. Thank you. Thank you. And there are so wow. many ways that people can thank get you. involved too. So there are. You know and. Uh, we need everything, people, resources, yep. you know, we need to yeah. locate the veterans. We, it's a big job. It's but the camaraderie, job. too, the people that do get involved. Yes. I mean, you, you make new friends, you mm -hmm. know, and, and it's, a, it's a great fellowship. And to watch the veterans that we fly interact with each other yeah. and talk about things they haven't talked about for like right. 50 years, 60 years. Sure. It's wonderful to see that. It is to, to that point, on one of our other flights, we had a, uh, two World War II veterans who were graduated from the same class at Greenwich High School, <laughs> oh, yeah. had not seen each other oh, since graduation God. until they came to Honor Flight. That's unbelievable. Then they got back together again. Yeah, see that? So it's all of these interactions that make yeah. this it's well funny. worth our doing. It's funny, he says that I was chosen to go officiate uh, Olympic Games of Heidelberg, which Owens was the- mm -hmm. Jesse Owens. Uh, yeah, Jesse Owens. Oh my gosh. And they gave me to referee the what do you call it? Pole? The pole vault. Pole vault. And as I'm calling the names, I yelled out, Bysinger. <laughs> as it sounds familiar, so how Bysinger at Port Chester, New York, he turned Silvio. Oh, yeah, we went to school God. together. I said, oh, oh my goodness. God. Yeah. That's, that's, that's awesome. unreal. It's just, uh, yep. The things that do happen, you never know. Yep. It's a small yeah. world. It is. Yeah. And it's, veterans it's a tend great not, connection. Yeah. Yes. Veterans tend not to talk about their service. Yes. Until you get them together. Yes. Then well, it gives them a chance to yeah. unload some of that and share it. Uh, so our big thing is visiting the monuments for reflection, reverie, and camaraderie. Yes. Definitely. That's huge. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on. And this is a great opportunity. You know, this whole show is about getting involved. You know, don't complain about what's going on out there. Do something. You know, and this is a great opportunity for people to get involved and, and to get that, uh, you know, people connection, which is huge. So we, we appreciate you giving us a chance to get the word yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. That's all we want Thank to you so much. Yeah, find Thank you. Out. Find vets, get the word out. Exactly. So, all right. I'm Victor Margiata. This is the community show. And uh, just one more way you can get involved in the community. So, you know, go on the website and check it out. Thanks.